Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. I filmed a little tutorial on this look you see right here. A little bit of pop of color. If you want to see how I created it, just keep watching. It's very gloomy outside today, so I want to do something more bright, a little more fun, but still wearable. I mean, anything to me is wearable, but wearable for more of the average person. I already have my eyes primed and set with a light colored shadow. I'm gonna start by dipping into Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek with the Morphe R37 brush. And I'm just gonna start placing that throughout the crease to lay down a transition shade for later shadows. Next, I'm gonna dip into Makeup Geek's Chickadee with my Morphe M518. And just starting in the outside corner, I'm just gonna start buffing that in and slowly bring it in, bringing it in throughout the rest of the eye. gonna go back in with that first brush the R37 and buff that out some more next I'm gonna take Tiki Hut by Makeup Geek with my Morphe M573 and doing the same thing but just focusing it a lot lower in the crease just gonna repeat the process dip into Makeup Geek's Shimma Shimma with my Morphe 433 brush. I'm just going to lightly pack this across the lid. I just want a very sheer wash of brightness. Because as you'll see in a second, I want the focus to be the inner corner and lower lash line, but we will get there. I'm going to go back with that original brush, the R37, and just rebuff everything. And now at this point, if you wanted to, you could just throw like Tiki Hut on the lower lash line, highlight your inner corner and be good to go. And it would be just a very nice, warm, natural look. But we're going to take it a little farther to make it a little bit more fun on this gloomy day. I'm going to start first by lining my lower lash line with my Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil in I-24. When you're doing this, you can honestly be a little sloppy because we're gonna go in with a teal shadow next. So either way, if it gets smudged, it's fine. So next I'm gonna dip into Makeup Geek's Poolside with my Morphe E18 brush. I'm just gonna go over that and start smoking it out. Next, I'm just going to take a clean brush with no product on it and just buff out those edges as well. Once you're happy with how that is blended, we're going to go in with the inner corner shade. I'm going to dip into my Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette because I'm obsessed with this yellow shade. I'm going to dip into that with my Morphe E36 brush. And I'm just going to really pack that on the inner corner. I love this yellow so much. I think it's so cute. Anytime I wear this yellow on my eyes, whether it's my whole lid or just a little pop of color like this, I get so many compliments. It's crazy. I'm just going to go on back with that M513 because it's pretty clean and just blend that a little bit. I think it's so cute. A little different, a little colorful, but not too much. I'm actually not gonna do a wing today, again. Surprising. 
but I just want to keep the look very bright and open. Um, but I am going to try some lashes I haven't tried before. I went to the Premier Orlando hair show this past weekend and stopped by the Ardell booth and got a bunch of lashes. So I want to try these Ardell 204 Double Up lashes. We'll see how it goes. So I'll be right back. I just put mascara on and I'm actually having a pretty good natural lash day. So I just wanted to show what the look looks like with no lashes and just mascara. I'm still going to put on lashes just because I'm curious as to what these look like on the eyes. But I actually really like it with just my natural lashes. So here's the eye look up close. So this is the completed look. I hope you like it. I like it a lot, actually. I just love looks like this where it's pretty natural and neutral, but then there's just those pops of color. It's just so pretty, especially this time of year with it being hot and there's colorful things everywhere. I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's like a disgusting hurricane looking weather out there right now. Let me know what you think of this look. Let me know what you want to see in the next video because I'd love to do more stuff. And if you ever recreate any of my looks, please feel free to tag me on Instagram because I really would love to see it. And yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye. Stain's in the next room. He's gonna think I'm a crazy person talking to myself. It's true. Was I totally out of the frame? It might have been. Today's not a good day for talking for me. I'm gonna leave it just like this. That's cute. This choker is not even a choker right now. Come on. What is wrong with me? Did I really scratch myself? <laughs>